Hello, welcome everyone to the channel. Here I want to show some idea that I have for printing out fan blades and just regular blades in general, but specifically for this, uh, it's trying to make the pitch low in some places and it just doesn't work out even at 0.08 millimeters layer height. So you can kind of see the blobs that are happening in some places and I think it's happening more at the lower layer heights, but with this model there's still some artifacting going on at the trailing edge, but the overall blade itself is really clean. And it's kind of satisfying to have that quality from FDM, so we're going to get going here and then remove the supports on all these and see if we can uh, combine all these parts together <laughs> and actually get it to work well. So let's see how that goes. All right, so that didn't go half bad. Could have done a little finer job, but not bad for having the camera in the way. So let's see if we can somehow just put all these pieces together. All right, so I didn't really think about how this would actually go together without falling apart. It does have to be glued at some point. Uh, just not sure how to get it there. So we're just gonna try to tape things together. Just really gotta make sure that these edges are flat or else they won't stack. There, we've got some blue dust on the file, so it might fit now, right? So, it actually kind of worked. <laughs> you can see the pieces in here are still trying to collapse in on each other. So, maybe a quarter of a millimeter tolerance should be applied to the horizontal distance around the discs. And then the slices in between the blade hubs right here should be maybe 0 0.4, 0 0.5, depending on how good your printer is, but definitely larger than the tolerance here. I don't know. Maybe this is too small. Maybe the ring's too small and that's why it's squeezing them too tight. Uh, these could have a, a better distance here, but For now, I just think I'm going to glue the top and take the tape off. I've got some paper in there now. Hopefully it should hold, hold it together. There, we'll let that dry and see how that turns out. So reviewing all this, I have this glued together now. Uh, looking back at it, the walls here are very thin, so kind of making any mechanism that holds it together is uh, a, a lot harder. And I think uh, it would make more sense if, although this went really well, I think it would make more sense if the walls were just you know, maybe like three millimeters thick and you could make an easy mechanism to hold them together. So maybe that's a good idea for the channels. We can make a more easily 
assemblable uh, kind of hub mechanism so that anybody could make blades if they wanted to. The only thing is the uh, the pitch of the blade root is really what determines what's best as far as that goes. So that's interesting. I guess it would maybe need a lot of variations unless we just stuck one out there. Usually you need high alpha at the root anyway. Anyway, this is the uh, other blade. You can see that printed flat out on the bed and it's just not as good. It turned out a lot better this way. So yeah, I'll have these files up on my uh, Patreon and there's links to the Twitter and Instagram below. And hit the like and sub button and and uh, we got some interesting tests coming up on the channel. Uh, six blades, five blades, and seven blades version of the same fan. And once we figure out what's best here, uh, we can uh, vary the actual wave in the fan as well. So, like and subscribe and see you in the next vid. I also have a smoke machine coming to test this out as well, so that should be interesting. Until then, bye.